I went to Disneyland's exclusive Valentine's Day party. For the next four hours, we get to visit a not so busy Disneyland with a Valentine's Day twist on it. In this after hours event, we'll get to see some very unique characters, attend a royal ball, listen to some amazing live music, and most importantly, try some awesome Valentine's Day eats. So coming into the park now, it is just after seven and we got checked in. So we got our lanyard and we got our wristband. So you're gonna wanna make sure if you're coming in early, make sure if they're not checking you in at the front you're gonna want to probably go to starcade just know if you're coming in around 7 p.m you'll be able to check in right at the front gate we're here i'm excited i'm super excited the list has like so much more entertainment than last year so i'm freaking pumped but the one thing for me is if this merch is going to be any good are you gonna get one of those I feel like I really didn't like what they had last year. This is so much better than what they had last year, trust me. I just love like the vintage like look on it and Mickey and Minnie look so cool. Look at them, they're on a date. <laughs> I like it, I think I'm gonna get it. How's it going man? Would you mind holding my camera for me? Of course. Sir. Just aim it at us, it's recording video. Is it? Okay, yeah. No <laughs> Awesome, thank no you problem. so much, You're appreciate welcome. it. So that's how you get a good picture. <laughs> that's how you do it. All right guys, so pro tip is Rancho Del Zocalo is actually opening at 8.30. So Galactic Grill opens at eight o'clock. So my biggest pro tip is come to Rancho Del Zocalo. There's already a line forming, so I would recommend come for the opening at 8.30 because you're gonna get 30 minutes extra before opening at nine o'clock because this event kicks off at nine. So you'll already be a little bit ahead of the game by starting off at Rancho and you already know we're here for those tacos. Oh snap, they're letting us in. What time is it right now? 8.23. Ooh, what? <laughs> We are trying the Amordita tacos. This is grilled marinated shrimp, spicy avocado crema, tangy slaw with cucumber, red onion, carrot, mint, and cilantro. It looks like there's some seasoned chips on the side. So I'm probably gonna give these like a four and a half out of five. Whatever the shrimp are marinated with, it has like some type of like spice to it. And then like the tangy slaw that's in there gives it like a nice, I don't know, like freshness to it. So I'm a fan of this. Like I said, four and a half out of five. It's like real good. So I am now gonna try the cucumber agua fresca. It's cucumber agua with a hint of mint. This is good. And to see, it's like a smack in the face of literal, the literal description. Like so much of these drinks, we try to like come up with fancy things to say, but literally this tastes like the description. You take a cucumber and you take mint, boom, go five. Not a home run, they're special, real good. Well, up next, I'm trying the Mickey shaped strawberry cream puff. It's a Mickey shaped cream puff filled with strawberry mousse and topped with red quaquilin. Quaquilin. Quaquilin? I don't know. Somebody, I'm, I'm gonna put the description down here. You tell me what, how you say this. Put the pronunciation, but anyways, I broke the ear off. And you could see like all the stuff. What is it, cream? I don't even know what I just read. This is amazing. Last year we got the Mickey shaped succulent and that was good. This is a home run. Five out of five, home run. You gotta try this. We just left the Golden Horseshoe and I have to admit, it seems like no one knows that any of the characters are in there. And I will say the performance with Jesse and the classic piano player, that was awesome. 
I highly recommend making a stop there. It was so chill. No one was in there. It literally felt like we had our own show, right? Yeah, it was super cool. Sadly, Bullseye was not there, but he might be here on other nights. So if you have a Sweethearts Night ticket, just know Bullseye may come out at the Golden Horseshoe. Check the app. The app is like so on point this year with all of the detailed information. So check your app, go to the Sweethearts Night filter, and you'll find everything there. Let That's us know it. if you find any snakes, okay? I'll take them home with you. Get them out of here. I'll take them. No, 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 no. Get out of here. You know, we do it island style here tonight. Y'all know that, right? The Polynesian duo there at the Tropical Hideaway, that was awesome, right? Yeah, no, they were super good. Carson was at first like, uh, should we just keep going? And I was like, eh, we have four minutes. I'm glad we stayed. They were awesome. But look how good this castle looks. I don't know if it's because I haven't been here in several months, but I feel like I missed this little castle. This Sweetheart Night's been awesome. Like, it looks so cool. This castle is not as big as the one in Magic Kingdom, but with these projections, Magic Kingdom doesn't have nothing on this right now. The genius. How are you, <laughs> sir? One day, I hope to be as smart as you and invent as much cool things as you do <laughs> and all your adventures. But well, we want to see Princess Ada too. I hear she's around. She's bossing like someone around, probably. <laughs> <laughs> right? That's I what I think. <laughs> <laughs> well, Flick, let's get in for a big old pick. Looking good to you. Awesome. There you guys go. Nice. Thank Thanks, you. Flick. Take care. Good to meet you. Hopefully, I'll invent something for you one day. <laughs> They're out of the ravioli, at least for the next 45 minutes. So we have to wait. 45 minutes? 45 minutes, yeah. What the? We got friggin' Mickey's Runaway down. No, no rav. Ravioli. At least we got the fountain. Yeah, we can't be that sad. Everything else is gone according to plan. <laughs> I feel like Runaway needs to be open though. It's the perfect picnic. Yeah. All right, guys. So the lines are not very bad, at least from the few photo ops that we've walked by, there's some, we're, we're just not big like photo pass people. But I will say the lines are not bad. This is like, unlike any after dark event that I've been to in a long time. Lines are not bad, we're meeting characters. Overall, I will say Toontown is so chill. It's just like an empty Disneyland. And the music has been spot on, like, I don't know. Me and Andrew are having a blast right now. On to the next mission. So we came down here to Main Street to see some of the classic characters. I will say, I think I personally like their costumes and outfits this year rather than last year. This year feels so much more like Valentine's Day and I kind of feel like last year was more like a gala vibe, but I just love Donald and Daisy. They always put on such a show for everyone. And the cool thing that's a new addition that at least I didn't see last year is they have the up house and like you take a couple's photo and you put your hands on the mailbox it's so awesome so i don't know everything's kind of been hitting it out of the park this year but definitely come down to main street the lines are not long and they're moving very fast Brella and prince charming to take the dance floor oh. fairy godmother Oh, yes. Would you do the honors? Absolutely. It's my pleasure. Bibbity bobbity boo! I love oh, isn't it romantic? Oh, such grace. Such elegance. And in glass slippers, no less. Oh, yes. We're dancing. Yeah! <laughs> In the match! <laughs> 
So that is going to be a close for the 2024 Sweethearts Night. If you want to see any of our other After Dark events, I'm going to put some videos up here and here. Make sure to check those out and let me know if you think it was better than last year. I know me and Angela had a blast, but guys, if you enjoyed this content, I want to invite you to hit the subscribe button and help us get to 20,000 subs. What can I say except you're welcome. See you on the next one.